Alright, it's another month, and that means it's time for another homemade fire alarm system test. Um, my exceeder will be tested soon, and I'll be going up on YouTube too. So, I don't know if you heard, but in the last system test, I, um, you heard me say I was going to be making a really big panel and all? Well, I made it. So, I have a different pole station, same cover and all, but different pole station. I made a new one. This, as usual, the alarm. And let me show you my panel. Drop my keys. So here's my keys to the panel. So here's the panel. Fire alarm. Oh, blank of bits. Fire alarm. Zone 1, this is Zone 1, Dial 1, 2, and, um, silence, and reset, so switch, so, try it all one more time, so yeah, um, so, um, yeah, I'm making a video that's going up to YouTube, it will, it will come out soon, it's like, the, well, Smoke Inspector still go off after 10 years, and it should have gone up to YouTube by now, but it hasn't, so, um, I'll go ahead and just pull this. And so this one is very simple. It's just lift and go down. So yeah, here it is. And we can go ahead and open the panel and see what looks like on the inside. Ooh, wrong way. So, yeah, and this is pulled down, there's the alarm, so, yeah, fire alarm is done one, now we can go ahead and silence it, silence it, put this to silence it, and now it's silenced, and we can go ahead and reset the pulse station, put this again to reset. Okay, it's all reset now. So, yeah, that is my basic thing I made. Pretty simple. So, yeah. This says fire system, and that's like my little mark. So... That's my, my system. Um, yeah, let me put this back on. So I hope you enjoyed my new homemade fire alarm system video and my panel. So bye.